Do you smell what the plumber is cooking? Pancakes. Oh, we have our cover! Reggie Pizza Man! OB1 plays? That's right, what's up? All right. OB1 plays? How are y'all doing? We have some huge news. Wow. Before we get to the news, the news is so huge, my camera couldn't even focus. But we're back. All right. Click that like button, bro. Ooh. Bro, the Nintendo Switch Pro GPU has supposedly been leaked. And this is what it says. The Nintendo Switch Pro GPU will be based on Volta architecture, not Tegra. So they're switching from Tegra. It seems to be some kind of custom architecture. And it will not have 4K support or massive um, performance improvements are not expected and we're going to I'm going to share the article and I'm going to share my thoughts first just that information right there spot on to what I've been saying first we have goliaths we have titans about to drop in the holiday season both Microsoft, the Xbox Series X, rumored to be 12 teraflops, gigaflops, whatever the flops are, flip-flops, 12 of those flops, and the PlayStation 4 Pro, rumored to be 10 teraflops, massively, PlayStation 5, I said 4 Pro, 5, massively powerful consoles. I have always been of the line that I believe Nintendo is going to keep the, some kind of portability with the Switch, with whatever the Switch Pro is. I expect a huge hardware update when Nintendo goes next gen. This isn't a next generation console. This is like what PlayStation did with the PlayStation 4 Pro. That's what Switch is doing with this Switch Pro and if Nintendo was to go 4K with a portable device, you're looking at at least $600, bro. At least a $600 piece of hardware, and that's even pushing it. <laughs> if you're going, if Nintendo's going to go toe for toe with Xbox and and Sony, and still keep a portable form factor. That you're looking at uh, probably a thousand dollars a thousand dollars if you're gonna keep it portable that's if now would I want Nintendo to announce a home console I'd be in for it but I think they don't want to kill any of the momentum they have with the switch and I don't think they want to burn current switch customers if the switch pro is too powerful you're going to split the user base. Some games will be able to run on the Switch Pro. And some won't be able to want run on the Switch Po. We got the Switch Pro and the Po. For all my Po boys. I'm joking. I'm joking. I got a Po. <laughs> but um, I really don't think. Uh, it makes sense. This, this article makes sense. They're saying it's not going to be a massive improvement. Now will they bring an improvement? I really think so. I think Nintendo's going to do similar to what Microsoft did with the Xbox OG and the Xbox the Xbox One OG and the Xbox One S where there was improvement, you could see performance improvement in games, um, resolution improvements, but it ran the same games. And so according to this article, uh, Nintendo 
the switch will be based on what's called Volta architecture. I'm going to read some of the article, then I'm going to share my thoughts. This is WCCFTech.com. And it says Nintendo is rumored to be working on a new Nintendo Switch model. And it seems like the Japanese company and NVIDIA, so it's they're still using NVIDIA, are working on a new SOC, system on a chip, for the console. According to rumors circulating online, a new Nintendo Switch model could be released. And also the launch date. The launch date is also included in this article. Check this out. They're saying the Switch model could be released in the final quarter of the year. The final quarter, I think, begins in November and runs into 2021. It gets even more interesting. The new, this new model will not adopt the Tegra X1 Plus, but a new custom processor Nintendo is developing with NVIDIA based on the Volta architecture. Even with the new processors, however, major performance improvements and 4K support should not be expected. And like I said, if Nintendo is going to go 4K, that's going to split the user base. Developers are going to be too tempted to put games on, just simply port like Cyberpunk and all those games and leave behind current Switch owners. Current Switch owners are 40 million plus strong. Nintendo's not crazy. And so, <coughs> um, and I said, I've always said this, bro. If Nintendo just gives me 1080p 60 frames per second, that's all I'm asking, bro. 1080p 60 frames, I'd be good. If they make that the standard, the target for the Switch Pro, I'd be good. That's what I'm expecting. We have a 720p screen right now. I think it's going to go up to a 1080p screen, 60 frames. But my most important thing is the frame rates, bro. I'm going crazy with the frame rates, bro. Um, and so... They're still saying take it with a grain of salt, but they're saying that the leaker has a good reputation and has revealed information on mobile products before. So someone who's in the manufacturing loop, um, um, they know what's going on. And so um, they also say Digitimes, they're talking about earlier this month, Digitimes revealed that a new Switch model would be released this year. Um, it has not been specified. It would be a major hardware revision or a minor one like the re revised base model re released last year. Considering the release of the Switch Lite, it's being assumed that the next model would be a more powerful version of the current model in the vein of the PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X, meaning still within the same generation, but more powerful hardware and so this article also says something interesting though and i'm hoping this is wrong with nintendo often releasing revision of its console a release of another nintendo switch model is more than like, oh i thought they were talking about the the date okay all right never mind but interesting stuff in this article New system on a chip based on Volta architecture. They're dropping the Tegra line, but it's still NVIDIA so that there'll still be some continu continuity that um, you'll the compatibility between uh, Switch Pro and current Switch still going to be NVIDIA. Volta architecture, 4K support, and a huge performance improvement is not expected, which is what I've been saying all along. I'm just going for 1080p 60 frames. Just get, just smooth out the switch, bro. Keep doing what you're doing with the switch, but smooth it out, bro. All right, dudes, what do you guys think of this huge news? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, bro. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. 
you can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace